Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today back in the Master Chief Collection grabbing the Bandana Skull. This is in Halo CE and it is done on the level of the Silent Cartographer. It is the second skull in this level. What you want to do is you want to make your way to the second base. This is when you turn off the power to open the door. And you want to have some sticky grenades on you because you are going to need them for a grenade jump. I will be showing you three methods on how to get this skull. The first involves a grenade jump, the second a rocket jump, and the third the second controller trick. So there's three ways to get this, technically four, but these three are the ones I had the patience for. So I'm going to show you all three. The last one worked for me, the first two didn't, but you might be better at grenade or rocket jumping. So the skull is going to be over there. This is behind the switch to turn on the power. What you want to do is you want to throw your sticky grenade right there and you want to time the jump in order to get it. It's not like a regular grenade jump, it's actually pretty longer than a grenade jump, so even if you're used to grenade jumping, you might not hit it, which makes it super duper hard. So the next best option is a rocket jump. Now to get the rocket launcher, what you need to do is you need to turn off the power first. So once you get here, make sure you hit right bumper on the console. This will get the door open in the other base. Then what you want to do is you want to run outside. There should be a drop ship that should have crashed. It doesn't um, appear until you turn off the power so make sure you do that after you flip the switch what you want to do is you want to go outside and then make your way to the cliff side you want to go out the right door there should be some overshields here make sure you grab one if you don't have one already then you want to go over here to the left side and if you peek down the cliff there should be the crashed pelican right there with an ammo supply drop including the rocket launcher that we need so what you want to do is you want to go down to this part of the cliff and then just ease yourself down and hopefully the overshield takes the hit there we go Make sure you go to the wreckage and then pick up the rocket launcher. So it's going to be over here by these dead guys. Make sure you grab that. And you want to make your way all the way back up to the base, which takes a long time. So I'm going to cut ahead. Once you're here, just do the same thing as the grenade jump, except this time jump away from the ledge. And then shoot a rocket and hopefully the explosion will boost you up there. Once again, this takes a little bit of practice to get off, but this is how I got the achievement back in the uh, 360 days. So make sure you do that, but unfortunately I couldn't get it in the one. So I tried the third method, which is the co-op method. Plug in a second controller and start the game on co-op, play through the level until you get to this point. What you want to do is you want to pick up your second controller. You want to do a crouch jump into the first window on the right. So your controller should be something like this. Basically crouch and jump and then leave your controller there. Inch your way so you um, are the furthest position possible on the right. Um, before falling and then you want to kill yourself on your first controller by just jumping into the chasm you should respawn on top of the second player and then you want to kind of make this jump right here onto the ledge and then you can grab the skull that way this requires two controllers obviously so borrow a controller from a friend and the cool thing about this method is both controllers get the achievement there it is five gamer score and that's all there is to it 